Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be watching the final two episodes of Degrassi High Season 2, episodes 12 and 13. Episode 12 is called Three's a Crowd and episode 12, wait, Episode 12 is called Three's a Crowd, and episode 13 is called One Last Dance. I'm very excited. We're finally done with Degrassi Junior High and High, Degrassi Classic, whatever it's called. It's kind of insane, but we're here, finally. And then the last thing that we have to do is the Degrassi Schools Out movie, which y'all have been hyping up so much. I'm very excited to watch it because unlike Degrassi Goes Hollywood and even Degrassi Goes to Manhattan or whatever, I have never seen Degrassi Schools Out. So I'm like completely going into it blind and I'm very excited to see how they like wrap up these classic characters. We're gonna go ahead and get into it, but before you do, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff you already know. Subscribing's free as hell. Um, check out my latest content. Last week I posted the Degrassi Goes Hollywood movie and then the week before we did you know the craziness that was the Showtime episode of Degrassi High and in case you missed it a couple weeks ago I announced that I started a second channel which is where my unusually Eric name lives I will leave the link down below for you to subscribe the first video will be coming soon I know I keep saying that but I'm trying to find out how I'm gonna do two channels at once on top of a nine to five please be patient but I'm telling you it's gonna be worth the wait and let's go ahead and get into it. There now, we're coming into the kitchen now. We're coming into the- Oh, there's mom! Say hi, mommy! Hi, mommy! And over! Oh, look at this. Snake and Spike with Emma before they even knew what was gonna actually happen. I can't play these games any longer, Christine. Games? Don't you know I'm crazy about- He's gotta be dreaming. Or he's dreaming. Somebody's dreaming. Sorry, uh, I was stage dreaming. Oh. <laughs> So is this like the birth of like the snake spike connection? I've always liked them together, even though I feel like Spike shouldn't have gotten back with him after he cheated with Miss Hatalakos. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, but that's how I feel. We're going with seniors, and that's that. It went well, I thought. You're a great partner. Thanks, so are you. Um... Snake is so tall. Like he is huge. <laughs> you see how much taller he is than Spike? I'd love to go to the formal with him. <laughs> so awesome. Poor Snake. It's so unfair. At least he's back. He's such a nice guy. Three's a crowd. I was thinking like three's a crowd. I thought like Emma was gonna like just get in the way just because she's like a baby and they're trying to like, you know, not that. I don't know why I did that hand motion. They're just trying to, you know, connect. But maybe it's because Christine, aka Spike, and Michelle are both into Snake, which I do remember that storyline a few episodes ago with Michelle and Snake. I've got a sexy mind. Ooh. I love women with brains. Come to the formal with me. Yick. I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Isn't she dating um, Alex? Isn't that his name with the, the blazer? Oh yeah. All these dreams. That was a little bit more believable though than the first one. It's just, I guess you forgot what today is. What? Well, come on, guess. Alex, I don't know, okay? Oh, she's over him. She is over him. It's our three month anniversary. After three months, she is already over him. Happy anniversary. I hope the next three months will be just as great as the last three. Damn, Alex. Certified lover boy. Certified pet pal. What, 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 what? I'm sorry. That song is still stuck in my head. I'm sorry. Say oh, be ho. Oh, be ho. I don't think I ever asked, but where did they get the name Snake from? Like, why is he Snake? Is it because he's like long like a snake? Because I know where Spike comes from because the hair, obviously, but Snake, I never get. Maybe we could go. Um, I mean as friends. Sure. Why not? Great. Um, well, happy studying. <laughs> Thanks. Michelle's probably gonna ask him and he's gonna say yes to her and then he's gonna be like, oh my God, I said yes to two girls. I don't know what to do. He's not my type. <laughs> He's wild and unpredictable. And Alex is reliable, dependable, and solid. See, I can see how Tessa's into Yik because it's the complete opposite of Alex. And like, he just looks more fun, which I mean, Yik Yes, he's kind of a part of like the bad kids, quote unquote. Like he was smoking earlier in this season or was that last season? I don't remember. But Yik is still like a good kid. Like he hasn't done anything too wild. He's not like Luke or Joey even. Joey's done some wild stuff. Do you have a date for the dance? 
Yes, he does. Great. That's great. I love how, you know, this is the 80s or whatever, and they're not, you know, abiding by gender norms. Every girl in this episode so far has asked the guy. None of the guys have asked the girls. Good on them. Shoot your shot. You miss 100% of the shots. You, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's the word. That's the quote. That's the quote. I'd love to, really, but um, I said I'd go with someone else. Um, I'm sorry, really. I... No, uh, that's okay. Um... Oh, well, at least he didn't say yes. He was honest. Seems like Snake is more into Michelle, though, than Spike. I don't know if I'm picking up on that wrong, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're the best tutor. Ooh. Grab me. Kiss me. Love me. I didn't know Michelle wanted to go. If, if I don't, this isn't a problem. Just tell Spike you can't go with her. I can't. She asked me first. Yeah, but she only asked you as a friend, right? If you explain the situation, I'm sure she'll understand. See, I knew it. I knew he was more into Michelle. But, I mean, you already don't say yes to Spike. That'll be messed up to be like, um... I can't go with you because someone way hotter and way cooler asked me, so... I haven't been to a dance in so long. No? Why not? Are you kidding me? With a baby to take care of? This is special. Yeah, well, I... Is he not into her as much because she has a baby? I mean, if it was Emma... I'm just kidding. Emma's a cute little baby. And I mean, in like 20 years, they're gonna be... Not even 20. What's the difference? Wasn't it like a 10 year gap between the grassy high and TNG? So like 10, 11, 12 years, you're going to be smooching. I just thought about something. So you mean to tell me there's a 10 year gap between the grassy high and TNG? So like Snake, Spike, Joey, all of them were like in their late 20s, early 30s at the beginning of the grassy TNG? That's insane. <laughs> I always thought they were so much older because they were celebrating their 10 year like high school reunion. I'm 29. <laughs> My 10 year high school reunion was the last year. This year makes 11 years. That is, mm -mm. I can't even think about that. You and Alex are friends. Friends aren't supposed to do this to each other. I told you, she kissed me. I haven't done anything. Not yet. Oh yeah, Alex and Yik are friends. They were part of that group that was like playing poker together. And I was like, oh my God, I love their little friend group. Oh man, that is kind of messed up. Alex, why does he wear the same thing every day? It started to piss me off. If they were dressing themselves, that's fine. But the people behind the scenes should have been like, okay, Alex, you have worn that blazer. Three weeks in a row. What's up? Like, where's your parents? Can we talk to them? Like, are we not paying you enough to be in this freaking TV show to where you can buy a new blazer? Like, how much were they paying them? I wonder how much they made. Like, in the 80s, they probably made, like, $50 an episode. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds crazy. In fact, you know what? I've always thought that you and Yik would make a fantastic couple. I'm serious. Oh, she's daydreaming. I'm about to say, why would she do this in front of an entire class? Why is he waving at Yik like that? He's looking like, hey, Yik. He did like the sparkle wave, like the LGBT wave. Alex, look, I'm sorry. It's not my fault she broke up with you. She said she was going to do it anyways. Oh. She kissed me. Oh. She started it. Oh. Tessa, my girlfriend, kissed you? Alex is crazy. You saw those eyes. I thought we were friends. We are. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my God, Alex. I mean, I like Alex, I guess, but don't come at Yik, because Yik is like top three favorite character of mine on here, and you're not gonna do that. Your girlfriend is a little wild and crazy. She kissed him. I mean, he didn't like push back, but like she made the first move. Like she leaned in. She said, mm. <laughs> She said, mm. And I like Spike. I, I mean, I don't like her the way I like you. Oh. I like her as a friend and- Wait a minute. What was that last part about me? I said, I like you. She's right behind me, isn't she? Damn, he making her sound like a charity case. She barely gets to go out. She's really looking forward to it. Damn. Damn, Spike. Can we still be friends? I don't 
think so. Period. Period, King. You better stand for what you believe in. Don't be trying to be friends with me after you kiss some other guy, didn't tell me, and the other guy told me. Tessa is crazy. I'm sorry, but I can't go to the dance with you. Why not? I forgot we had this family thing to go to. Um, I already promised my mom. Sorry. Man, Spike, you should've, ooh. Thank God Spike is a nicer person than me because I would've been a messy bitch. I would've been like, I heard you in the library talking to this hoe and you said you only wanted to go with me because I'm a charity case and I'd never get to go out and you really like her over me? Look at my hair. Look at her boring ass hair. My hair is spiky. That's why they call me Spike, bitch. Hey, Dwayne, you heard the latest? Yeah, someone at the grassy has AIDS. Can you believe it? What? I mean, no one knows who it is. Talk about scary. <laughs> Can you imagine if he like touched you or something? Oh man. Whoever it is, they better get him out of this school quick. How do they find out? Joey, I don't think Joey said anything to anyone though. Like, why would he? How did they know that? Oh my God. I have the election results for next year's student president. And the winner is- Good luck. Lucy Fernandez. <laughs> Congratulations on a hard fought and well deserved day. <laughs> Thank you, Mike and Tello. Listen, guys, lunch is on me, okay? <laughs> So is Bronco a senior? Cause wasn't he the class president or school president? So I guess he's graduating and then Lucy's gonna be the new one. I love them. They're like Barack and Michelle. <laughs> I love Bronco and Lucy. And for your information, it is pretty tough to get it from kissing. You'd have to drink about six liters of saliva to get it. Ugh, they're gross. Come on, Joanne, with the facts. Take my hand, stay, Joanne. But I'm HIV positive, and I got it from a chick. How do you like that? Come on, this isn't funny. No kidding. It's the truth. Damn. Them dumb bitches, I can't stand those two. I don't even know their names. I can't give it to you by touching. Look, just don't touch me. Tabby, this is me, Shorty, since grade two, remember? Dwayne, please. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, I have to remember we're in like 1989 or 1990 or some shit. Like I gotta keep keeping this in my head because like I, that reaction was so funny. Funny because in 2024, we know. Watching this when it came out, it probably was like really serious. I understand you'll be placed in various high schools throughout the city. That's so but why do we all have to go to different high schools? Yeah. Because there isn't room for all of you in the one school. Oh, I don't want to go somewhere new and start all over again. It's typical. Our senior year and they have to go and wreck it. I'm about to say, this does happen to them. They had to do this, I think it was season three of Degrassi Junior High. Didn't they have to go to a different high school? I forget exactly what happened, but... That's crazy. If you knew this was going to happen, why did you bother with the stupid elections? The decision was only made this morning. I don't like it either. If there's any consolation, I'm being reassigned too. I mean, if the building needs renovations, that's just what's gonna have to happen. I feel like this happened to me like in elementary school, like second grade maybe, first or second grade. Our school had something going on for like a week or two, so we had to go to like a different elementary school. Um, look, it's no problem, I understand. Oh, well, wait, I didn't say no, I just said, um, I don't know. It's different. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll go with you. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm like, girl, keep your sure. It's yes or no. I mean, her boyfriend did just unalive himself, like, what, a week or two ago? At this point? AIDS gets transferred through bodily fluids, not through chairs. You can talk to them. You can shake their hand. Hug them. That's all safe. I know I sound like a pamphlet. It's just I get so mad at how people with AIDS get treated by people like you. Period. I love how Joanne just come in in these last few episodes and just shows the fuck out. I love Joanne. Take my hand. Stay, Joanne. Great. Thank you, I love the fashions here. This 80s fashion, I'm loving it. Like Lucy's look, one of the twins' look, the one on the left. I don't know. I still can't tell the difference. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with twins, unless they're Tia and Tamara. 
showing up tonight? That is tacky. Girl, who are you? This could wreck my whole evening. This can wreck your whole evening? Get a life. He came in his suit and everything. Oh. He's not here. Probably got tired of waiting and went home. No, he knows I'm always late. Girl. We don't need you operating on CP time. I can't stand people like Caitlyn. Like, be on time, sis. How do I look? Pretty steadily, huh? Sure. Given what you've got to work with. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, The Enemies to Friends pipeline is incredible. I love it. And Dwayne, you go out there and you tell them to fuck off. Forget it. I hate them. Caitlyn. Hi. I was, um, combing my hair. That's okay. Why is she so me? I be like so irritated and then I see him and I'm like... Hi. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. No. Abby. I'm staying. I'm really gonna leave a whole ass it's dance fine. because... But it's your funeral. What a loser. With that whack ass, dry ass ponytail. Get the f Wanna dance? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> she came around, okay. I still really don't care for her, but at least she's, you know, not being an ignorant loser to her friend. You wanna dance? Sure, why not? Oh, not Mr. Radish dancing with the student. <laughs> Bro, somebody had a camera and was filming them dancing. Mr. Radish went viral and he would've got fired. I'm just thinking about that guy who got fired for braiding his hair or had the students unbraiding his hair. Girl, I'm tired of seeing that, by the way. Can we stop talking about that? I really don't care anymore. Anyway, that's the very last episode of The Grassy High. It's kind of like lackluster to be a finale. I wonder did they know this was gonna be like the series finale? Like, were they planning a season three and they just never got it? Or was this planned finale? I'm thinking it was like a unplanned finale but then they were able to do one with the School's Out movie. So maybe, let me know in the comments how that went. But yeah, that is all y'all. We are finally done. Next thing we're gonna watch is The Grassy School's Out, which is so exciting. So, you know, get ready for that. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Adios.